Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is March 30th of 2018, and this is Friday. I have, uh, I've been thinking about it, I've even talked about it. I'm going to try to do something di a little different. Well, one, t one month I said I was going to do a video uh, every day for YouTube. I, I think I did about 10 videos that month. But I am going to try to like I'm going to I'm going to call this. Uh, Thank God it's Friday, and I'm going to try to do one video like this. Although the, I want this won't be as good as what I'm hoping the others will be because I just decided to do it just now. And what I'm going to do is sort of keep some notes for a week, and then every Friday I'll do you know, Thank God it's Friday, and just talk about uh, various things that happened during the week, the news and uh, things that interest me, the uh, TV shows that I watched that I liked, uh, movies, that type of stuff. And so hopefully it will be better than some of the, I'll still do my other uh, dumb stuff that I do, but hopefully this will be a little more organized and I'll try to write down and keep some notes. Um, The, there, now there was something I wanted to say and I didn't write it down and I forget what it, anyway, um, I'm off to a good start, right? Oh, Roseanne, the TV show. I used to like Roseanne and watched it, but it got kind of hard to, but there was some really good, some funny stuff. But then there was also a few episodes they did that were really, really stupid. And it's my understanding that Roseanne was... Now, Roseanne did a... I used to enjoy her stand-up comedy. She wasn't great, but she was funny. And if you've watched Roseanne TV show, the type of person she plays, that was the type of comedy she did. Sarcastic, uh, you know, antagonistic towards her... I don't think she had a husband, but uh, the, the Roseanne you saw in the TV show was the type of comedy that she did. And the, the TV show I thought was just great, all, all the characters. But uh, occasionally they would throw in something really stupid, like they did an episode where they're dressed up like and they're playing the... Uh, uh, Gilligan's Island, uh, and then two every year, I think they did about nine seasons, they would have a Halloween oriented thing. Stuff like that. And then of course, uh, then when, then when they won, right now I'm thinking about some of the really funny shows that, that they had, uh, Dan in the police car waving to the school principal. Uh, Darlene being caught on the couch, being felt up. Uh, just tons. There was tons of funny things. But then when they won the lottery, all those episodes, that, in fact, I don't think I watched all the episodes after that were total crap. And if I were... I know you want every program you can in a syndication because you get money for it. If I'd have been them, I would have chopped it off, thrown those things away. Well, now we have season 10 of Roseanne. And, uh, you know, Dan is back. He looks a lot older. Uh, Roseanne doesn't look... She looks much better than, you know, she looks better. Uh, but then you can see... Anyway, I watched it. Well, I couldn't watch it all the way through. I think I watched five or ten minutes of it. And there was some funny little uh, things said. You know, referencing uh, the fact that Roseanne killed off her husband and had him have a heart attack. And now they had to bring him back for the... Uh... There was some funny things like that said. But... Uh... 
Roseanne's gay or transsexual grandson. And that was one of the things, too, with the show. I remember, I don't know what shows it were that talked about it, but the fact that uh, she wanted there at the, at the last of the show, she <clears throat> decided that she wanted several of the cast, the family members to be gay. She wanted JJ, their little boy, to be gay. And it looks like she's got her fingers in this. Uh, that also, uh, I don't know why, that I watched, like I said, 10 minutes of the first episode. And uh, I couldn't stand to watch anymore, which I really regret because, um, you know, I, I always liked the show. Um, but, uh, so anyway, I was going to say something else about it, and I can't remember what I'm looking for. The Oh, it's up here. The settings are up here, because I want to change the camera. Okay, switching from the Logitech C930E to the Logitech Pro. And the window really causes problems, doesn't it? And the other thing that I watched um, was a new Star Trek. What's it called? It's uh, the new Star Trek series. And I don't know what I'm a, I mean, I was a Star Trek fan from the very beginning when it first came on TV and always a Star Trek fan. And I remember going to the first Star Trek movie, you know, which now looking, you know, that Star Trek was, uh, or the uh, Enterprise was at the space station or whatever, and the, uh, the camera goes around and it shows us the entire, and we're in the audience going, oh, wow, the Enterprise, you know. And then they had a meeting of the entire crew of the, and their different colored uniforms in the camera goes around and shows us their different colored uniforms and stuff and we you know so i was a fan of the movies and i was a fan of all the star trek movies but uh so anyway i mean i oh, couldn't wait and so i uh, watched see did i have to get that with CBS Live, CBS Online, or whatever it's called. can't remember now. Anyway, I watched the first episode. I think I might have watched the second episode, too. I don't know. I guess it, maybe I'm getting old, or maybe but it was really good. It was really good. Oh, I know one thing. Back to Roseanne. Dan, for that the 10 minutes or so that I watched the first episode, he was reading he never did that before i don't know if he's old like i am he's 65 by the way i'm 77. Uh, he was reading you know from a prompter behind roseanne when he was talking to roseanne or wherever he was where somebody was holding up a sign with his i don't know now since it was the first episode Maybe they needed to get an episode, you know, made immediately and he didn't have time to learn his lines or I hope they're not going to be doing that, that he has to do that all the time now because it was really distracting. Sort of like Trump reading the teleprompter. Um, so back to, so anyway, I watched the uh, Star Trek episode, I think two of them, and I'll watch the rest of them. And it was really well done, real, I mean, everything was perfect about it. The graphics, animation, I guess that's the same as graphics, everything. But I don't know, uh, maybe I've just, how many battles have I seen with, you know, the Federation versus the Cleons, or I don't know, you know. Uh, 
I just, when I saw the movie um, E.T. at the movie theater because I had to take my kids, you know, that was, when the movie ended, you know, we all sat there, wow, you know, and this is, so, um, now I mentioned that I, I signed up for, um, signed up for CBS, what the hell do they call the thing? I have Roku TV and this is it. CBS All Access. And I think it's five ninety nine for uh, you get some commercials. Like in the live, you'll get commercials. And I think in the recorded stuff, the old stuff, you, uh, either, you don't, maybe in some of it or in most of it, you don't get commercials. Um, so yeah, it's here that I'm, I, I get to, so that's where it's showing up. It looks like though, and I haven't done a good search, like the Big Bang Theory, um, I thought you'd get all the seasons of it, and it looks like you only get one season. Uh, but um, what they do have, I don't know if I can, let's see, shows, because, okay, they have live TV, so the local TV channel, CBS, which of course I can get it over the air, gotta make sure we don't have any sound uh, here, yeah, I'll turn it off. So, uh, live now. So let me go back here. Oops, okay. No, I don't want to. No, I don't want to exit. So go back up here to away from go to shows. They have uh, a ton of old shows. Oh, anyway, I lost my train. So it's like five ninety nine or something, and then I'm I went ahead and paid nine ninety nine for commercial free, except on the live TV. You know, there's some exceptions I think. But these are all look at uh, like sixty minutes, one hundred and fifty eight episodes, forty eight hours, which I have never watched. Um, uh, 14 episodes of After Trek. I have no idea what that is. Uh, Big Bang. Th okay, so you're only getting 18 episodes of that for some reason. So I guess there's some things that there's uh, legal stuff with. Uh, uh, CBS Evening News, 60 episodes. Carol Burnett Show. How many episodes of one episode. Oh, I see it's the Carol Burnett uh, special, the 50, 50th anniversary special. 275 episodes of uh, Cheers. I've watched Cheers, you know, a number of times, but I mean all of them. Okay, Everybody Hates Chris. I haven't seen all of the, I've watched quite a few and then something comes up, a change in my schedule or something or other. Fraser, 264 episodes. Um, I Love Lucy, 101 episodes. I've never watched a JAG. There's 83 episodes of it. Uh, Life in Pieces, I have no idea what that is, 15 episodes. I was trying to get down here to um, some of the older shows, because they have a whole bunch of episodes. Star Trek Discovery, they have 15 episodes. I'm not sure I've ever watched it. I know I just told you. Star Trek Deep Space Nine, 975 episodes. You know, I don't think I've really watched Star Trek Enterprise, 98 episodes. I'm not sure I watched more than a couple episodes of that. 
So Star Trek Voyager 170 episode. I haven't watched any of, maybe I didn't have access to the animated. That says 22 episodes of it. So. Uh, so. Uh, this is, well, this is, anyway, I'm going to try to do every Friday. Uh, and it's going to be. Thank God it's Friday and then, you know, hyphen and something else uh, for a title. And I just want to say, by the way, you know, I'm 77 years old. I'm retired. Uh, I don't go to work. I uh, usually don't know what day it is. And I sleep. I usually, I wake up quite, I take a lot of little naps because I just get so tired. I just go and fall on my bed. I don't know why I get under the covers and everything. But So sorry for using, for those of you who work every day, and believe me, I did it all my life. Most, a lot of times, two jobs, you know, two jobs uh, I'm going to use, you know, thank God it's Friday as the title for this. And then something else for each episode, I'll try to put something next to it that maybe tips you off a little bit what's going on. And then I'm going to try to remember to take notes. And uh, one of the reasons I'm doing it, I, I'll mention that to you. One of the reasons I'm doing it. And if you watch my other, if you watch other videos on YouTube, you see a lot of videos of people, uh, YouTubers, bitching and complaining about YouTube. And they did this and that, and they changed this and that whatever, and, and some of them, they carry, there's a lot of drama going on, and it's a, they have a lot of reason to be disturbed about the way things work. Um, but I don't usually do it, but one of the things that just came out, and YouTube brought it, uh, talked about it, and uh, sort of brought it out, um, is that, like, when you hopefully subscribe to my videos, but I'm talking about other videos also. When you subscribe, uh, you think, and, and we, I think all the YouTubers thought, okay, every time I make a video, you're going to get a, a, a notice sent to you saying, you know, Jim Howard just posted a new video, and then you can come and see it. But now we find out, no, that's not the way it works. They have some type of code that decides whether to send out notices to all the people. Some of the people, depending on their study and uh, details on you, they decide whether, do you really, want, you know, you only uh, watch X number of Jim Howard's videos, so uh, and we won't send you that, you know, this is done by a person's not doing it, you know, code is. Uh, we won't send that notice out to you that he just is doing a, uh, you know, I did a few live videos and two or three people showed up and I thought, you know, out of two and a, two and a half thousand, I would think more people would show up. This is probably the reason that nobody showed up. Uh, so, now, from, from talk about it, uh, YouTube's code takes into consideration, gives, they give priority to how long your videos. If I make a long video, they can put more commercials in it. And that's, you know, better for, would be better for me too, if, you know, but it's better for them getting revenue. So they like long videos. They also like for you to post every day. They like for you to post often. And they like for you also, and they give you, you know, you get perks, you get more traffic sent to you. And more likely that, I mean, all everything is, is all complicated and much beyond my pay scale. So I'm going, and I, of course, I'm not making YouTube videos to make money. I make 
about $30 a month from YouTube. I spend more than that uh, <laughs> easily for YouTube Red, which is $10 a month, and YouTube whatever the other thing costs, which helps YouTube uh, people do uh, things easier with their videos. I pay $20 a month for that. That's 30 and I pay money for other things too. So God, I don't even want to think about how much, but uh, I'm going to try to post more. And so this one is going to be, thank God it's Friday. Uh, one thing I'll probably do if I can remember to do it is, uh, what's it called? I can't remember. There's a thing, is a quota or whatever where people, it's really, I like it. I got a friend who too spends a bunch of, I spent a bunch of time on that. I spent a bunch of time watching YouTube videos, but it is saying, uh, it's questions. People ask questions and you get some really competent people that come back. I'm sure they get a bunch of people who are not competent that come back, but you get a lot of really people, people who know there's a lot of questions about the military and you get, you know, somebody will ask a question about the submarine service. You know, does how much food or what a whole bunch of questions and you'll have somebody comes back and you know, I was in charge of, you know, I was a Bolson's mate or I don't know, whatever, whatever it is, come back. And I remember one of the questions like, uh, how do really rich people, uh, you know, do they have to, when they go to eat dinner, do they have to put a gold card on the thing? And uh, a lot of military questions. Um, what else? I've even answered, I think, a couple, not in great detail, though, but a couple of questions that were asked. But so when I see one that I re some of those that I really like, I guess I'll print them out to my printer and I'll probably mention those like, hey, this was interesting. And here's the, you know, got to remember, too, to try to save the uh, link. So in case you're really interested, you could go there. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about the news. Oh, God. Um, and there's things that pop up. Uh, on the local TV station, I happened to switch by a while ago. I also can get over the air, you know, I have an antenna that picks up most of the over the air channels. I mean, an antenna just up there. You can see the cord running up here out of the thing. To one of those things that they always, you know, the ones that the little things that they say you can stick on the window or whatever. They don't, they don't work all that great, but I guess they work. But then I'm going to try to jot down other things that, that pop up. And I just happened to, uh, uh, one of the, I don't know if it's a regular, but they had a thing at the end where they, people can call into the TV station. By the way. I worked security at, for, it was my second job at a radio TV station for uh, a while. That's another thing I need to do is get back to, maybe pick a day for that. I need to get back and tell you things that, uh, things about my life, stories, you know, that are true. Uh, I came, I was shot at once. I came uh, very close to getting, I might have mentioned that a few times, uh, very close to being killed by a car, a car being chased by the police and by the police car. I almost stepped right in front of that. I almost, uh, I don't know if I'd have been killed, probably killed a couple of times. I've had a very, that was my, actually my second job. Uh, almost got killed by uh, trains. Uh, I was welding on a railroad car at uh, one time and a gigantic hook from the crane, that, a giant overhead crane that traveled up above the uh, guy, I think he was reading a magazine up there and it went up and it didn't shut off so the cable snapped or something and it came down right next to me. 
and it was, I mean, it's a gigantic hook, iron, and uh, smashed in the floor right next to me. I was on a ladder, put a big hole in the floor, in the concrete. So uh, I worked a lot of different jobs. So I want to do, I want to do that. That'll be kind of hard, more difficult for me to write. And I need to write it down. I haven't done it in the past, but so I want to, oh, but anyway, I was watching the uh, local TV station just a flip by. And I guess what they do is they have a telephone number you can call and record a message to the station. And uh, several, several, I don't know, yeah, several, oh. uh, but anyway, this, uh, remember the helicopter that went down in the New York River and the pilot was the only one that survived and the four passengers died and they died because they were strapped into their seat and couldn't get the thing un undone. Uh, ooh, I mean, it, well, I have a fear of, I have a fear of phobia of choking or not being able to breathe. You know, if I, I tried to get in the military and I tried to get in the army twice, they wouldn't take me both times. That had been back about 1959 and then a few years after that. Uh, I totally forgot that I had really bad hearing when I was trying to get in. But the reason they wouldn't take me because I was 40 pounds under the minimum weight requirement. And I didn't know they had a minimum weight requirement. But uh, see, that's my problem. Oh, I need notes. Oh, OK. Anyway. Um, uh, it's not because I'm 77. I think I've always been tell a story, start telling something, and then I'm <laughs> way off um, into nether netherland. Anyway, a uh, so that's something I want to do too. Is like make some notes when, when I, something comes up, and then for this, thank God it's Friday. Um, Anyway, a guy calls in. I swear to God, I'm not making this up. He says, you and your TV station and your fake news, that report of the helicopter crashing in the river and those four people dying, and you're saying that the reason is because uh, somebody accidentally, they accidentally hit the uh, fuel line shutoff valve on there. There isn't, that's fake news, and there isn't any automatic, there isn't a shutoff valve on helicopters. Well, I don't know what his background is, but, and I don't know about all helicopters, but some helicopters have a shutoff valve for the emergency shutoff valve, because I don't know how many years it was. I worked uh, 18 or 19 years hospital security and uh, the one hospital that I worked at system I worked at for the I worked at numerous hospitals for them but and I worked for them that company for 18 years but I worked at other hospitals that they owned uh, once a year the security department 25 security officers we had to go through well, every year we had to go through revolver retention, uh, firearms qualification a couple times, a year. well, legally required once a year, but we also had other, you know, firearms, uh, uh, edged weapon uh, training. Uh, so and one of the things we had to go through was uh, once a year certification about the helicopter because the hospital owned a helicopter but of course there was another other helicopter also you know in the city from another you know another hospital 
which I had worked at in the past. Um, so we had to go through, you know, the procedures. And one of the, some of the, you know, what if the helicopter, you know, crashes on landing at the hospital or on, you know, taking off, uh, you know, you have to watch out for the, the if you've seen these, some of these helicopter crashes, that's scary. Uh, I mean, I've never seen, I'm talking about videos that I've seen. Uh, you know, the blade is going around, around, even if it crashes, the blade is going, unless it, and maybe it hits the ground, you know, one blade hits the ground and pieces of metal go, you know, flying off and all that type of stuff. But the blade can continue to go around and it's extremely, you know, there's, what's the most dangerous blade on the helicopter, by the way? The rotor on top? No. It's the tail, the tail rotor, the tail uh, rotor back there. It's smaller, and when it's running, it's down right there where you are in your face. It's also invisible. It looks, it appears to be when it's running, it's invisible. Now some helicopters have it enclosed in something, but also with the helicopter, you know, the helicopter blades, you know, are running. And then as the helicopters start to shut down, the blades then, you know, the blades are running. And if you're, you may not need to duck depending on the type of helicopter and the height or whatever, but say the blades are up there and uh, you're six foot tall or whatever. When the engines start to shut down, the blades come down. So, <laughs> but uh, there is, we had to know where it was and how to shut it off. So it which took, you know, no time at all. They didn't have us actually go out and start the helicopter up and then have each one of us shut it off. But they showed us where the shut off valve was in order to stop that uh, blade from going around. But uh, I never had, I uh, can't remember if I was, I don't think I was working. Uh, I was working at the hospital. There, the, uh, there was a, a guy walking down the, it was H lot, the, the emergency room parking lot, and then there was a helicopter place there for the helicopter to land. Uh, the helicopter, when it would come, get ready to take off, we had to shut down the entrance so that no car, you know, to that lot, so that no cars could come in. And we had to, to get people out of there and we had to not let them come out while the helicopter was taking off or landing, you know, because of debris being thrown up and then having somebody's eye injured or something or other. But uh, I don't think I was involved in this, but I remember them, I think the other security officers told me. Uh, it was right on, there was no fence around the parking lot. Uh, so the helicopter was, I think it was landing, might have been taking off, but it was a guy who was walking down the street decided that uh, he wanted to commit suicide and uh, hey, there's these blades going around or where, and so he came down into the parking lot. Of course, they went over to stop him from, they didn't know he was going to try to kill himself, but to keep him so he didn't get injured accidentally, you know, so you never know. So anyway, this is, I need to make a, uh, need to make an image, don't I? Remember when John F. Kennedy was killed? The UK TV show they made over there on, I think it's, I guess it was the BBC. This, what was it? This was the week that was or something like that. Nothing was being shown, you know, I mean, except here in the United States and around the world, really, but in the United States where, you know, of uh, pictures of John F. Kennedy and his family and his children and that type of stuff. Reg all regular programming was gone. This is before cable. 
this is before satellite, I think, before they had satellite capability. No, Sputnik had gone up, so there would have been, but, uh, so there wasn't, all we were watching was agonizing, uh, tragic pictures of, you know, President Kennedy, you know, playing with his kids and that type of stuff for several days. But uh, BBC, I think it was, I know it was from the UK, they made a, a, a production of, or had a regular show, and I think the regular show was, you know, this is the week that was or something like that. But they made a special one, and that was shown on TV during this time or whatever. I was just thinking that because of the title. I need an image made. I may have to go to Fiverr. I should be able to make uh, my own image, but for five bucks, I may have to go to Fiverr and have something made that says, what if this zooms? Have I tried this? No, it's not, it won't zoom. Well, wait a minute. Effects, that's not effects. I need to go here. Preferences. Um, image. Brightness, I can change those. Capture. Okay, I can't zoom. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I don't have it on. Uh, yeah, it is on webcam. Never mind. By the way, as you can see, this is Linux Mint, and I'm using Cheese as this program up here because you can see that it says Cheese right up there, and uh, working out pretty well. I now have, this is a dual boot now, I have Windows 10, and I have uh, Linux on it. And what I said with Windows 10 that I was going to do was, uh, by the way, it is almost, it's very dark now in this room. And these cameras do, uh, do great. Uh, oh, I need to end this. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Please click the little bell thing to be notified, but you can't depend on being notified. Um. Uh, but when I do make a video, I don't do it myself, but I have it automatically set up that there is a paste that goes, a post that goes to my Facebook page and goes to my Twitter account, I think. Uh, I'm not a Facebook fan. Sometime I guess we'll talk about that. By the way, come up with some Friday is going to be, that's going to be it on the test. Thank God it's Friday. Come on. Let's, come on. What other... What I need to do is... Uh, oh, I finally... <laughs> the other day I tried to use my Panasonic R7 and I told you I adjusted the... I haven't read the instructions on it. And I went in and adjusted the... From YouTube. I went in and some guy had told how to set the thing, the settings that he used, and he made fantastic videos with it. So I set my settings for that. And then I went out to, oh, that's what I can show you. That's what I wanted to show you. Uh, terrible. My, uh, here's the, we went, my, my daughter for my 77th birthday, which was Monday, this is Friday. Uh, she took, uh, her son, he's 27, I think, uh, her brother, my son, um, uh, I don't know how old he is, and took me for my birthday out to, uh, the casino in Oklahoma, Indian Casino in Oklahoma, and um, these are, so I didn't even bother to, well, I had my cell phone, but I handed it, but 
not a good picture, right? That my son never, uh, see if I can go back. Here's another one, not much better. So I don't have any good pictures from, uh, from that. Oh, this is in the hotel room. Here's my son making coffee, and there's my grandson, and there's Hillary looking out from the parking lot. We were on the 14th floor. When we checked in, they said, you'll be on the 14th floor. And I said, uh, is there a 13th floor? And uh, they said, no, there's not. Uh, something I never thought about. I've been watching a lot of, I watch a lot of YouTube videos and I'm going to change this camera again. You're probably tired of looking at this fat, bald, old man. So I'm going to uh, change back here. So at the hotel, I said, is there a 13th floor? And they said, no. Something I never thought about. Uh, Pulp Fiction. Remember that and remind me because, okay, Pulp Fiction. So something I never thought about was uh, in China and in other different uh, countries have different numbers that are, you know, good numbers and bad numbers and uh, colors and all that type of I never really thought of that. And so in Japan, I don't think they would have they would have a 13th floor, but there'd be some other floor that they wouldn't have because of the bad associated number associated with death or something like that. Pulp fiction. Um, like, uh, what do they call a quarter pounder in uh, France type thing? You know the answer, right? I like movies. I've watched a lot of movies. Oh, yeah. You know, if I were... When I was a kid, young, we went to the movies twice a week. And so, what if I could have that time? I'm 77. If there was some type of magic way, if I could say, uh, could could you give me back the time that I spent watching movies? I'd have, I don't know how many more years. Or could you give me back the time that I spent masturbating? Oh, that could, I'd, get a whole, I'd get a whole, I'd have a whole new life, you know? Here's Hillary in the car, <clears throat> driving. And here's Russell in the front seat, sleeping. He just, he'd worked that day and uh, long hours. And he kept nodding off. And there he is again. We're heading from Tex. We're heading from Texas to Oklahoma. This is me with my diabetic stuff. I am a type two diabetic. I never thought I'd actually. Well, I did later because the uh, doctors, you know, as I. My blood sugar thing was always so close, you know, a few more points and I would be diabetic. And stupid of me, I should have, because it was several years, you know. Uh, you're borderline diabetic, you're uh, something else they called it. And I should have done everything to not get into that. But you know, if I could lose, I'm... 240 pounds. If I could really lose this weight, I, by the way, I'm doing fine with my diabetes. Uh, the numbers are really good. The doctor's very happy. Same with my cholesterol. Uh, you're, now, the reason you're only going to see pictures of me, I'm not, actually, I don't like pictures of me, but uh, There's a page out of my high school yearbook. That's me.
the reason there's so many pictures of me is I'm not really around anybody. Well, and the people I am around, the family members, they don't want their picture taken. This is scary because, you know, I don't know. This is, uh, uh, Google Photos. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure what might pop up here. Maybe I should stop when I'm ahead. Sort of like, there's Hillary. Uh, she bought a mattress for me. And she's putting it on my bed. I used to be a welder, by the way, for years. Arc welder. I went to Lincoln Electric Company. Uh, their school. There is Hillary riding her hey, moto bag. Luggage that you can ride. So there's uh, Thomas. He's a feral cat, but he he's really a sweet cat. Uh, but. He, he has to be an outside cat. I better stop. There's no, there shouldn't be any nude photos or whatever, but not sure what you might see. I actually never, I, for the last two or three days, I felt, um, felt really good for some reason. And, uh, which I'm, I don't know why, but for the last month or so, I've had um, a place on the bottom of my left foot up by the big toe. And you would think I have all these cameras. Anyway, I can't, well, with my blood pressure, and whatever, it, bending over to put on socks, my blood pressure shoots up to 200. Uh, but so it's difficult to get socks. It, it's just, you know, it's. But there's a place in there. You would think that I can't see it. I can't hardly get, can't even hardly raise my foot up uh, or my leg up. But there's a place there that is apparently a piece of skin that is, I guess, hardened because uh, it maybe hadn't got blood supply to it or whatever. But every time for the last month that I took a step, it was like a piece of glass or a knife being shoved in there. And we have mainly carpeting here. It wasn't too, it hurt. But it wasn't too bad on the carpeting. But in the kitchen, when I hit the linoleum, ouch, every time. And if I went someplace, like when I went to the casino. Uh, but anyway, uh, something happened. And I don't have, that piece is still there, but I think maybe, I don't know. But Mega church pastor sold worthless Chinese bonds to elderly. Next time, we'll talk a little bit about the news. Uh, God, shooting somebody 20 times, you know. Oh, wait, but this is a different one. I can't keep track of the police shootings. Well, uh, Trump's White House calls the shooting of black men a local matter. I don't think so, because I have watched all the episodes of The West Wing, and I am now an expert on the White House and how the White House should run and how the presidency should run. And so 
Oh my God. Now the White House, now Trump is going to fire, I guess, the EPA chief. Scott Pruitt, I guess that's something which is renting from the family of a energy lobbyist. So how much rent is he paying? Wow. The head of the EPA is uh, renting from the family of a energy lobbyist. I bet he's getting a dollar a month rent or a dollar a year rent or something like that. You know, before Trump took office, I said that, uh, I told you on a video that the most corrupt presidency that we have, ha have had in the entire history was U.S. Grant's administration. Uh, Grant apparently never did anything illegal or wrong, but everybody around him, and I have a feeling, you know, U.S. Grant, Civil War or whatever, I have a feeling, I bet you that, uh, you know, he probably appointed a lot of, you know, ex-union officers who had done well in the military for him, and, uh, you know, man, they stabbed him, and I guess it's after the Civil War, such tremendous losses, and whatever. Well, maybe those people were just flat out crooks, but also maybe they thought, well, you know, if I can get some, so it was the most corrupt uh, of all. I said, Donald Trump's administration will be the most corrupt. And then I said that uh, the administration that had the most White House officials and government officials uh, guilty of felonies and who went to prison for their felonies was Ronald Reagan's administration and that uh, Donald Trump's administration would uh, would be the new leader, the number one. And it looks like, like exactly, let's, I was right about that. What I was not right about was I didn't think that Ronald, that uh, Donald Trump would be elected, even though the, you know, the voter right up to the last minute, they said it's real close. I didn't, and I knew, of course, where his core support would, re Republicans, you know, support would be with the, you know, the uh, fundamentalist religious people, the born again Christians. Uh, I, I knew they didn't want to vote for Hillary Clinton. But I thought they could just not bring themselves to vote for somebody like Donald Trump. And boy, was I wrong. Uh, those people turned out and they are they are. They're the reason that uh, Trump was elected and I didn't think that he'd be elected. So I was wrong about that. I'm looking at the wrong camera. Why don't you guys say something when that happens? Um, I wonder if I should do, maybe once a week I should do on a certain day at a certain time, live streaming video. I've done it a few times, but I, I think I did one, one was an hour long. I think I did one that was two hours long and only three or four people showed up. So. The only problem when I, and I've noticed other people do the same thing, when you have the chat going there, then you start answering, you know, somebody, somebody says something, ask you a question, then you answer it, and they ask you a question back, and you answer and somebody else pops in and answers in it. I, I think myself, for the most part, I think the best thing, sure, have the chat going, but do whatever you're going to do. And yes, if you do see something, if somebody, like if I say, you know, uh, the most corrupt administration was U.S. Grant, and somebody might say, uh, of course, I'm correct in that, but, but something like that, somebody could say, no, Jim, it was actually so-and-so. And then when that case, they could say, I could say, you know, oh, so-and-so says, and we could even do a Google search or something, 
So in that way, it would be good. But the way I've, the way it's worked with me is people ask and then it becomes, and that's not very, you know, not very effective. On board doomsday plane that can wage nuclear war. I, one of my, well, my main, when I, starting about 1955 on, my hobby was shortwave listening and I used to listen to sax frequencies, you know, Sky King, Sky King, this is whatever, authentication code, you know, X-ray, Zebra, one, two, you know, all types of stuff, heard a lot of stuff, sometimes I need, I need to do a video about that, I may have already, you know, another thing I need to do, maybe sometimes somebody can help me, I don't know, it's kind of a personal thing. I've got about 800 videos on YouTube. A lot of those need to be done away with. They're about a news story or something that nobody knows anything about anymore or about. But then there's a lot of videos that you would, if you somebody was doing it for me, giving me a list. There's a lot of videos where I, I wanted to stay because I see it was using a camera or that's in Florida and, and it, <clears throat> you can see the uh, lush vegetation uh, plants growing outside or it was during a rainstorm and, and I can remember that by watching that video, which I never go back and watch it, but if, if I did, I'd go back and remember, I remember that day, yeah. So anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching, please subscribe if you're not subscribed, I'm almost to 2,500. Please click the little bell and maybe you'll get a notice. So thank you very much for watching. Now we've got to find where I click finish recording. You know, you're not there.